This is part four of our log splitter build. So what I'm going to do is cut a piece of um, I-beam off and uh, we're going to do that with the plasma cutter. Just wanted to uh, show everybody that the I-beam was made by Bethlehem Steel and uh, in the USA. And it has a B there, and I don't know what the B is for, but I can tell you one thing, that Bethlehem Steel and Buffalo, New York are um, uh, pretty synonymous with uh, one another, and it used to be one of the biggest employers in Buffalo. But uh, don't know if it's from Buffalo or not, but if it is, I'm just uh, glad that it's going to be part of this log splitter build. So what we're going to be doing, we've already cut the top with the plasma cutter. And we're going to be cutting uh, down here. What I've done is I've just put a little piece of stock in here. we will be following along the edge. And we'll be uh, cutting through the I-beam portion. And then we'll follow up on the other side. Uh, let's get doing that and get to work. Cutting with a plasma cutter is pretty cool. And uh, that's the Harbor Freight plasma cut cutter going through a steel six inch I-beam, um, which I'm going to weld up on top of the hydraulic tank and I'll show you that in a little bit. Log splitter is gonna be 62 inches long, not including the tongue. But um, hopefully you can see this okay, but Basically here is where I'm going to have the 2x2 two by, two, um, by 3 sixteenths of an inch thick rail. That's going to be for the uh, tongue. I'll put my trailer hitch here. The uh, cylinder is up here. We're going to have a 6 inch by 12 inch tall wedge. Just a single wedge. I'm not going to go with a dual yet. Uh, if I need one, I'll do the slide over. But... Um, this is a cylinder that has a 20 inch extension. Um, you know, I could have gotten bigger, but for 80 bucks, I'm happy with it. That was at Craigslist find. The beam will be 62 inches, and I'll have a, uh, a little stand here. And uh, that's, I, I'll get one from Harbor Freight, just a little boat stand that'll fold up. So that's pretty much what it's looking like. Here's my, um, four inch by eight inch hydraulic tank and then this is the I-beam that I'm thinking of welding on top of here and then this beam would sit on top of that little cutoff I-beam and that's that's where we are right now I've not welded that on yet that's something I'm still 
I'm still kind of toying with. Have to get the hubs and the wheels. But um, what I'm thinking of doing is uh, welding this on and then putting on top of this welding on the uh, um, I-beam and then bracing this in to strengthen it. May even you know channel it down, but it, it would be braced. So it'll be in, you know, it'll be solid. And then that will give me room to come off of this because obviously the I-beam will be up on top for, um, I'm thinking the engine, the engine will be out in this area here because I want to go with that 14 horse. So that's where we are right now. And uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you guys have any ideas or things that I might consider. I really appreciate that. So please rate, comment, and subscribe.